There's really only three guns that a hunter absolutely needs. You need a lot more than that, really. But if you only had to pick three, these are the three I would pick. And that's what this video is about today. I think that this gun right here is a gun that every single American man should own. This is the Ruger 1022. On this Ruger, I have a little three by nine power scope. Nothing fancy, it's a little Bushnell scope. I would have to imagine that in the United States, this, these Ruger 1022s have probably killed more game animals than any other rifle in the country. It's a semi-automatic 22 rifle. If you don't have one of these and you're a hunter, you, you gotta have some type of a, a small caliber 22. Rabbit hunting, squirrel hunting, you know, putting down animals that are, are sick, like coons or possums, whatever the case may be. This gun right here is, is a must have for all different types of um, situations. This is a great gun. My son, who's four, shoots this gun quite a bit. He really likes plinking around with it. Another nice thing about this gun is ammo is cheap and for the most part, you know, you can find it everywhere. There was a point in time when that wasn't the case where it was hard to find 22 shells, but you can have a dang handful in your pocket of 500 of these suck, uh, of the shells for, or the bullets for these, this rifle and go out and shoot you a mess of squirrels or some rabbits. Um, there's just all kinds of, of really good applications for a good 22 rifle, and I recommend the Ruger 1022. I think the Ruger 1022 is maybe the best gun ever made. Once you got that 22 covered, that 22 is probably the cheapest option too, as, as far as these threes. I would definitely go ahead and get you a shotgun. I think if you're a man, and you're a big old burly man and you can handle uh, some recoil, I would get a 12 gauge over any of, any of the other gauges, whether it be 20, 28, 4, 10, 16 gauge. I would, if you only have one shotgun, get you a 12 gauge. Why a 12 gauge? Well, you can do about everything with it, right? You can kill anything with wings, turkeys, ducks, doves. You know, this is gonna work. This 12 gauge is gonna work. Number two is, the ammo is almost always available. You can get 12 gauge ammo from anywhere. Um, sometimes it's hard to find certain uh, types of shells in 20 gauge and definitely in 28 and 16 gauge and 410. So a good 12 gauge. I would recommend getting a pump, pump gun. Why a pump? Well, a couple things. If you're only gonna buy three guns, you're probably on a budget. Pumps are typically a little bit more affordable. This one's a Benelli Nova. I've had this since I was 14 years old. I bought this off my cousin. But pumps are, um, inherently more reliable than a, a semi-automatic shotgun. Why are they more reliable? Well, sometimes a semi-automatic can get finicky with the types of shells it, it runs. Sometimes with a semi-automatic, the, the action can get stuck a little bit and can cause some, some issues. With a pump, you know if, if the action is all the way forward and won't come back, you're, you're, you're locked and, and ready to go. Also with the shotgun, man, it's so versatile. I mean, you can literally almost kill any game species on the planet Earth with a 12 gauge shotgun. You could, um, you know, a lot of companies buy, uh, sell rifled barrels where you could shoot savage slugs for deer hunting, or I mean, you could kill about anything with it that, where, it's, where it's legal. Um, this would cover you on like on public land here in Indiana. You're not allowed to use a high power rifle. So this, this gun right here, I could use it for, for deer. And then I could, you know, switch out the choke tube in it and, and go shoot some, some ducks with it or some doves and then put you an extra full choke um, and, and then go shoot a turkey with it. So second gun I would get is a 12 gauge. I would go ahead and just get you a pump if you, if you want to save a little bit money. Um, Remington 870, this is a Benelli Nova. It's a really good gun. Mossberg makes some really good pump guns. So it doesn't really matter the flavor as long as it's a good um, a reliable name brand you're not going to have problems with it, with it. Now the last gun I would try to get my hands on is some kind of a high power rifle. This is a Montana rifle. This is a very nice premium rifle. This one is uh, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. I probably, like if I had to just pick, pick one rifle, I, I wouldn't get a 6.5 Creedmoor. I got a 30 6 That's a really good uh, round. The reason a 30 6 is uh, a good round is because that, again, is a, a bullet that is very uh, available. You can get that a 30 6 round almost anywhere. Um, and again, from 
you know, coyotes, deer, to elk, to moose, you could keep, you, a 30 6 would have no problem with any of those, um, any of those game species. Now, what I think is more important than the caliber or the gun is that you spit absolutely as much as you can on a good scope. This particular scope is a Maven RS1. This one's a two and a half to 15 power with a 44 uh, millimeter objective lens in it. Uh, this, this scope, um, you know, this setup here would probably run you about $4,000. Um, the this, this scope is, is, you know, well over a thousand. This gun's over a couple thousand dollars. You don't need this, but if you're going to say you have a budget uh, for, for a gun and you want to spend a thousand dollars on a really good rifle, I would probably, you know, spend 70% of that or try to spend about, you know, 60 to 70% on that on get, getting you a really good scope and then buy a, a more affordable rifle if you, if you, you know, if you purchase something from a, you know, a Ruger, um, you know, Remington, uh, any, any of your, your good manufacturers, I think you're going to have a good Savage make some pretty good affordable rifles. Typically what happens is folks spend a lot of money on a rifle and their optics cannot keep up with the um, capabilities of their rifle or, or, or the shooter. Um, get you some good optics and I think you'll be very happy that you did and your your uh, performance with your rifle will also um, show that you that you kind of went in the right direction instead of you know you spend two thousand dollars on a dang rifle and you put a three hundred dollar scope on it it just it, it's, it doesn't make sense um, we've got to get that out of our head so that's the three guns if I had to choose three guns only three guns to have in my safe for for hunting now this doesn't pertain to you know home defense or anything I think I think there's better options from for home defense weapons um, than, than these three guns here but if you're a, a hunter and you want a good system that can cover a wide range of game species I think you can't go wrong with these three weapons right here before you leave though hit the subscribe button and if you want to watch another video that's right here